Hey y'all, so today we're gonna be taking a quick tour of the studio, which you've heard us talk a lot about. Um, it, this is separate from the tiny house. Um, right now we have cleaners over there cleaning and getting everything just prepared for our guests, but just wanted to give you kind of a quick tour of the space and um, yeah, let's go. Here's Maria the cleaner. Hey Maria, I'm documenting. How are you? I'm good. I'm showing um, our viewers because we have a YouTube channel. I'm showing our viewers the space. They haven't seen it yet, and I was just want to share with them how you clean everything. Oh. I didn't notice you were here by yourself today. Yes. Uh, the ladies are in other places. Oh, are they? So I have to go around. Right I'm like, okay, let me stop yeah. there, do it, and go over there. You do such a good job. Thank um, you. Uh, as far as linens, I know duvet covers. Are you? Do we need more or? No, there's one there. Okay. Uh, one dirty. This one. And linens, I have two more sets. Two more sets. Okay. Yeah. All right. So hand towels and all that stuff. We don't need to grab more of those. Okay. All right. Yeah. Here's the bathroom, y'all. She's cleaning, so the drawers and everything are pulled out, but. It's a really spacious bathroom and a nice walk-in shower. And we just, we keep this door closed and locked, locked because it has our linens and stuff. But here's an armoire that we allow guests to use. What was that, Maria? I know the door needs clean again. Yeah. But probably when they check out these guests, I would do it. Okay. Okay, so they check out Tuesday, Monday. Okay. Those two days. Okay. So I would do it again. Okay, so she's just mentioning that we need to deep clean the floors um this the towel this is like a moroccan pattern um it has these cracks as you can see and sometimes it can get with all the traffic coming through it can get really easy to um kind of dirty up so we want to like get in between that just to kind of clean everything up so that is it's nice but she pointed that out so we're gonna be taking care of that soon all right when you came in was everything you know to Anything broken or anything like no, that? No, it was in good shape. Okay, cool. The refrigerator. Oh, I was, I was, was there a piece? Oh, okay. so I don't know if it was like this. Mm. I was going around. I'm, like, oh. I'm wondering, I think sometimes they spill coffee on this. Uh -huh. Oh, shit. Oh. And because it's hot when they're taking it off, I think it's like the coffee's like burning on it. Yeah. Hmm. We might need to get a new one. Is it, is it broken? Oh, it you mean because it's broken? It is, yeah. Okay, so we need to get a new one. So I don't know where the piece is. The one need covers there. Okay. But and then and then this one I don't know what it is. Hmm. It's just trash maybe that they yeah sometimes here. guests like yeah. they purchase things and then leave their trash. Like this one here. Okay, so maybe. Okay, you can leave yes, them. I, I just gotta fix it, so. Yeah, that's just fine. Leave. I don't know what this is. <laughs> a speaker or something. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we could just toss this. But I'm glad you brought this to my attention because. Yeah. Well, clearly they love to make coffee. Yeah, this is Probably, just. Probably, yes. Because they use the coffee maker. A so lot. They throw away the other and I am just already making it worse. Okay. Yeah, I'll grab another one. We can just leave it. Okay. I'll bring it over, but you could just leave that here. Okay. Until then. Okay, yeah, so this is the space. As you can see, we have a, like a kitchenette, which is um, just a little small cooking area. And this is a hot plate that they use to make their food and stuff like that. So just let you guys see how that looks. And that's about it. And just let Maria do her thing. Bye. Bye. Okay. So yeah, and do they? I don't understand what the. Oh, oh, there's some stuff in there. Yeah, it's the Berkey. I'll have to clean out a thing. I was just seeing if like they're actually using it. Well, it looks like they are. So. Yeah. Okay. And then this is the, the AC in the bathroom. It just it's an extra. Um conditioning during the summertime if they if they're if the central ac isn't like cooling the space off good enough for them they can actually supplement it with this split unit here and we have a similar one in the tiny house that you guys have seen and it also acts as a heater too during the winter time so it's just 
nice little additions like that that makes the world a difference for the guests and um yeah so that's the studio space and just to give you guys some background information on the space it used to be before we purchased the home i believe it was like a carport or a garage and then when they renovated it they converted it um to an extra room and then when we purchased the home we used it as a bedroom um area for a little bit but then it wasn't too long after where we converted it to my studio for one of our businesses and then from there we added an extra entrance on the side of the home and um turned it into what we have now and so it actually is more popular than a tiny house believe it or not um i just think it's just the entire experience of just making it really comfy and and welcoming and enjoying for guests to, to rent out but um yeah everything's private each space whether it's the studio or the tiny house they have their own outdoor area and all that good stuff so yeah that that is the tiny home i hope you guys enjoyed it and um if you want to know more about the space or just how we've converted everything and designed everything by all means drop a comment um if you have some future ideas of, of the space how you want us to share it and present it we would love that um a few of you guys have already already given us ideas for the tiny house in terms of um, furniture ideas and organization and things like that so we really do appreciate the feedback um, if you guys just want more information in general about how we've house hacked our properties be sure to check out our book the self-funded home that was written by me and edited by maria my husband um, it just gives a really detailed uh, description of how we've done what we've done with our properties and not just how we've done it but also why um, which is really important in terms of like the objective and why um, you would even want to get into house hacking to begin with so yeah check it out in the description i'll be sure to add a link um, so that you guys could purchase that it's only five bucks but yeah so if you enjoyed it be sure to like subscribe and share and we will see you on the next one bye